everybody. Good morning. So we're going to go through a few days here and get clear into our first campsite villager. So we'll talk to Harv. We'll place down uh, the tailor's shop. And we'll just get a bunch of stuff done. So uh, just enjoy watching the beginning of an island, I guess, <laughs> if you've never done one. Now you can kind of see the progress. So we have the first three plots down. And we have to go through a couple of days before we get resident services done. I have my uh, fencing. You need to put 50 fencing down. Well, you don't have to, but you definitely get a lot of points towards your three stars if you do. So it really does help. I've been planting some bushes and some flowers and different things to get the points as we get towards um, our three stars so we can tear from the island. I don't really have a set theme on here, except I'm going to keep it in cherry blossom season and do the flowers in like pink and white and green, make it just a real fun, um, light spring island. So that's our only goal. Looking for a real sweet village, little villager, <laughs> sorry, can't speak today. And uh, yeah, so this, vi this video is going to be just getting us to our first campsite villager and then, um, that's kind of the goal for today. So welcome in. Thanks for being here today. And we'll just go through some of these tasks that have to be done before we can start decorating the island and moving on. Okay, done with that. So we'll quickly do a little bit of weeding here and I won't bore you with a whole lot of that, but we'll just get a lot of that done and uh, part of the process. Okay, enough of that. Let's run over and see Red and go get our first artwork done because I definitely want the coffee shop in the museum. So here's Red. If you've never encountered him or if you keep um, Blather's tent as a tent and not the museum, Red doesn't come along to sell you artwork. So we'll go through the little process here of seeing his boat and purchasing. I think the first time he arrives, all the artwork is real. So you could choose any of them, but uh, yeah, this is how that goes. So we're going to run back there and purchase some artwork. and I can put in some inclines and bridges, that's for sure. But until then, we'll just uh, run through the entire island. I'm not going to be 
So all of these are real, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to grab this one first and go from there. One of the things I love about Red is his, uh, when he, he's on Harv's Island and you can pull the raffle tickets, he has some of the cutest little things you can get in there. And they come in a little tiny brown bag. So sometimes the, that little brown bag is so cute for decorating your island. So I highly suggest trying his raffle. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to go to another day. Okay, so you can see I went to some treasure islands, and here is the color scheme and flowers that I'm going to use. I did get a lot of items that are kind of just placed around, trying to get the points towards the three stars, but I'm going to use those. White, I will use as well, but I can buy those myself, so I didn't plant them there. But I do have some really cute things all around. Um, yeah. I, I kind of go overkill on how much to do before I get my three stars. I know that. Um, I, there's a gal, her page is called Melissa Verse, and she did like a week ago on how to get three stars, and it totally worked how she did it, and it was so much less than what I do all the time. I think she said do 40 flowers, three of each type of uh, fruit, uh, eight villagers, and anyway, check out her video if you want to uh, see how to get three stars. But I just do a lot of stuff that I'm going to need done anyway, like putting down bridges and inclines. I like to get all 10 of my villagers if I'm going to do 10. And I start planting the trees and bushes that I'm going to use anyway. So, But her, her uh, recipe or whatever for three stars, I tried it uh, on an island and it worked great. So check that out if you want to do minimal. Um, I started an, an island using her recipe and then... I ended up doing all these things anyway, <laughs> so I thought I might as well just do them along the way. But if you don't like to have a lot of stuff down and uh, you want to start with more of a clean slate, then her way was really, really helpful. But anyway, so we're just going to continue on with placing items, placing bridges. Uh, we'll get the, the campsite uh, built and placed and see who our first villager is. But... We're just going to continue running around today and doing all the, all the little stuff we need to do. Okay, now let's go build the campsite now that we've got the bridge placed. And I already have a place picked out that we're going to put it. Well, because this is the island I use most. Well, not the most, but it's my favorite one to use. And I have a layout that I kind of like to use on it, similar to my Forever Island. I mean, the island itself is the same as my forever island so i like the layout of my villager homes and campsites and stuff like that but all right let's see what we need for this and get this going the pink storage shed was pretty cute <laughs> I've never used that one before. I normally use the wooden ones because they seem, you know, rustic like an island. But I thought the pink one kind of really fit in with our uh, vibe of this island. I did stock up on a few extra tickets. So when we get to go villager hunting for our next, is it four? Yeah, I think we get to place four and go villager hunting. And I know you can get a villager on Treasure Islands, but I like villager hunting. I mean, to a point, but <laughs> I mean, it's fun. So, all right, let's, uh, let's get this going. I'm gonna rearrange those, uh, what do they call them? Cherry blossom branches, I think they are. They have quite a wide circle around them, so. We'll rearrange. Obviously, nothing that I set down is going to stay where it's sitting, but, you know, you have to place down many items to uh, please Isabel. All right, there's a campsite. So let's run over here and place it, and then I will time travel ahead, well, two days, well, one day at a time, and then we'll see who our campsite villager is.
don't want to lose those trees, so I'm going to pick up the turnips. I like to buy the turnips from uh, Daisy May. I don't ever resell them, but I use them to move the trees around. And if you don't want a bunch of trees at the end and you don't need the wood, if you buy turnips, you can just scoop those trees up and go sell them to Timmy and Tommy or throw them in the trash and then they're gone. You don't have to cut them down, pick up the wood, pick up the stump and all that. So, and Daisy May sends you some kind of cute little recipes and things to use. So I always buy the turnips and they come in kind of handy because if you eat one, you now have 10 power. You don't have to do 10 separate fruit. So in case you didn't know that, one stack of turnips, well, it says 10, but you eat one and then you have 10, so. Anyway, I planted all the extra trees and things that I'm gonna want, so I don't wanna lose any now before Isabel um, checks out my island. I did plant all the vegetables as well. I'm gonna have, I don't know if I'm gonna have a little farm or something, but I do wanna do maybe some of the cooking on there, so yeah. Okay, so we are going to time travel on to the next day. I think I did get my house redone. I think that's adorable. And now that we have resident services, we can do, go do Happy Home Paradise. So we're gonna go over and meet Lottie. But look at my cute pink house. That is adorable. So if you've never done Happy Home Paradise, this is Lottie. And you know, it's, it's a really cute thing. You can spend so much time over there. It's like, they make you feel like a little part of their family. You know, there's like four of you there working in the office. And it's it's really cute. I mean, you can spend, well, I mean, if you try to rush through to speed build it just to do your villager things, it still takes like three hours, three to four hours. So if you really take your time and play it, I mean, you could really drag that out. And then you continue going back as long as you want. So it's it's actually quite fun. Made a video on the different things about Happy Home Paradise, like that it doesn't end at 30 houses. That's when you can update your villager homes, but you can keep doing expansions on the businesses over there and more, all kinds of different things they keep letting you expand on over there. And once you unlock Wardell's catalog, you have access to pretty much every item in the game that you can purchase. Obviously not the DIYs, you have to make those, but yeah, I highly recommend it. I think it's about $25.00. Uh, I think, I don't know, but it's worth it. It gives you many, many hours of fun. Okay, Mabel's here, so I think we get to place the tailor shop. I know you don't have to do that to get to three stars, but I like the tailor shop. I like getting all the little clothes, and that's how you can also then access the uh, portal to get pathing and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and place the tailor shop back here behind Timmy and Tommy's.
Okay, I want to make sure I don't hide that bridge, but I want to also be able to see the tailor shop. So I think we'll go right in here. And again, we use the turnips to dig up those trees that I want to save. Oh, also, once you get resident services, you can get that fourth row of storage in your pocket and the camera, um, taking the, the uh, what are they called, pro camera app. You can take some really cute videos with that, but also that fourth storage is so good. So uh, if you didn't know that, as soon as you get resident services, go get that fourth row. Yeah, I got another bridge to place down. So let's run over here and, uh, oh, we got to talk to Patty. She is pretty cute. I mean, she's not one of my favorites, but she's she's pretty sweet and she's pretty cute. So for this little spring island, she's um, just perfect. She fits the vibe perfectly. So we'll take this nice little gift that she's giving us. Oh, she is cute. You know what I haven't done yet ever is a farm, a farm island, you know, with one of each farm animal type thing. So she would fit perfect on there. She's the favorite cow. She's pretty much the only cow <laughs> that I would like. But anyway, let's see where we can do this bridge at. Okay, so we're going to place this here, pay Lloyd, and then we will jump to the next day so we can see who... Our campsite villager is, you know, some of them aren't bad. I mean, there are some that are terrible, <laughs> but um, some of the campsite villagers are not bad. So I've, I, uh, Shep, I've had, Phil, I've had, I think, gosh, is Diana one? Maybe I'm not remembering that right. Um, but there's a couple that aren't bad. So I can't remember who all I've had that I thought, yeah, it's not so bad. But anyway, so let's get him paid and then jump to the next day. Okay, here we are, bright and early in the morning. Let's go check things out, see what's in the mailbox real quick here. I love the pink and white house. Okay, we can get the ABD. I've already picked one of those up. Something else for blathers. Okay, so let's uh, cross your fingers on who this is going to be. And see, so we have the tailor shop going. Um, walking and talking at the same time, thinking of what I wanted to put down here real quick. And we'll uh, get going. Let me think. Did I want to check? No. Okay. Let's just run over here and see who we have. I think this is kind of fun. I don't want chops. He's the one I really don't want. So, okay. Let's go on in. I think this is going to work out just fine. Let's see. Oh, my dog's huffing and puffing over here. Sorry. Oh, it's Phil. Okay, I like Phil. He's one of, he might even be my favorite over Shep. I like the look of Shep, but I like Phil better, I think. So, all right. Well, I'm really pleased. So, most everyone on the island is, is good so far. So, Phil can stay and, uh, okay. Well, that's fabulous. Okay, so let's go get his house and put him up where he's going to live. And then that'll probably be a wrap on the video. But let's run first and grab the home and get him placed. And uh, then the next video, so tomorrow, we're going to start the villager hunting because we can sell the land and place it and then time travel to the next day. And we can do that for four different people. So um, that's going to be kind of exciting. So... Let's go place him. I already know where I want to put him. And I did pick up an incline, so we're going to place the incline over here as well. Okay, I'm going to try and center this without having to do terraforming later here. I will terraform a bit of this island anyway, but uh, let's try and scoot over. If I can get it in the center, that would be better. But let's try it. Mm, no. <laughs> still not gonna work okay let's scooch over a little bit more okay and i did get all the weeds pulled on the main part of the bottom level okay we're just gonna go over to the left here let's try it again i haven't done the weeds on the top level because some of that's gonna get terraformed off anyway but okay so we got that down we'll get lloyd paid again i like the natural ramps sometimes i like to use the wooden stairs but 
I think for the, my spring island, I just want the natural ramp to have the green. Okay, let's climb up here and place Phil's house. Yeah, I'm really pleased it was Phil. Yeah, he's he's pretty cute. So I think I don't mind losing some of the cedar trees over here. So I'm thinking if I want to grab those turnips or uh, just place it down as it is. We'll just we'll just go with this. All right. Well, thanks you guys for being here. I appreciate the time and of uh, you watching my video and. Hopefully you guys are playing Animal Crossing and having a good time or at least having this play in the background while you're cleaning or studying or doing whatever. And <laughs> hope you guys are having a great day. So thanks again for being here and we will see you tomorrow and we'll start some villager hunting. All right, everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.